Something is stalking the streets of the city. It's the shadow of the undead. And in a month's time, the people of Cardiff will be running for their lives. So 2.8 hours later is a citywide zombie chase game that we tour nationally. And it's just that. It's a citywide zombie chase game. So uh, that means you'll turn up at the start with your friends and uh, you'll be given a mission. And then you'll head your way off into the city. There's about a three mile route that you're going to you know, try and achieve your mission and all the time without getting eaten by the zombies. And it's, it's a game of tag at that point. So if the zombies tag you, they mark you with the infection. And then by the end of the game, when you come back to the, um, to the, uh, the end location, you'll, you'll be scanned. And if you've been infected, then you'll glow. And if you glow and we hit the big red button, the alarm goes off and you get sent to the treatment rooms where you get your zombie makeup done up and everyone comes down to the zombie disco at the end of the night. Could you give me your full name, your job title and um, whether you're alive or dead? <laughs> OK, so my name's uh, Alex Noble. I am the head zombie and inhuman resources manager at Slingshot, and um, I'm definitely dead. <laughs> it's definitely grown in popularity over the past six years. Um, you know, we, we've added extra cities. We're actually doing 11 cities this year, whereas previously we did uh, about six to eight. Um, the zombie genre is definitely growing. A lot of TV programs out there at the moment. Uh, it's definitely the year of the zombie, 2015. Um, the zombie. Genre is quite persistent, I think. Um, it's definitely a sign of the times, things like austerity measures by the government. Um, it's almost the fantasy of uh, societal collapse, if you will, um, and that's why it's quite endearing to people, uh, whereas you know, some of the younger genres haven't got quite that punch to them. On the one hand, this is a game, and we've all grown up with games as a major cultural form, so the idea of coming out into the streets and playing a game as an adult, now that's, that's, a, that's fine, we're going to do that. And, um, the, and the proposition on top of that, of it being zombies, well, I think zombies are kind of the perfect monster for our for our era. You know, they're a, a monster for a time when people are afraid of a, um, a society that we might just destroy ourselves. And also, they're the kind of the perfect other. You know, they're like they're like the crowds. They're like the city. They're like this this alienated other. So they're you know the kind of human with the kind of inhuman. So they, they, you know, it's a way of feeling your way through that space. I just really love scaring people, but. Um, <laughs> It's probably the same for most of our volunteers, but th there's also a very strong community aspect. You know, you join the horde. We're all like one big family. Um, we travel around the UK. I've met a lot of friends, met my girlfriend doing this. And um, yeah, it's good. You know, moved out of Cardiff. Uh, Cardiff is going to be the zombie capital of the UK. Absolutely. What makes Cardiff such a good spot for a bit of zombie uh, hunting, if you were? Ah, it's just the Welsh are really keen for it, I think. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the reasons I moved here. Everyone's very friendly, everyone's up for it. Um, we have a lot of volunteers here. Um, every year everyone's really keen to get involved as opposed to just playing the game. Um, our zombies have, you know, they've been very good and Cardiff's quite a, an ideal location. There's a good mix of industrial areas and residential areas and commercial areas, um, which make for quite an interesting game route as opposed to just running around, you know, a, a rather grim industrial estate somewhere. So yeah, it's quite nice. The event kicks off on March the 20th, and if you fancy being scared half to death, you can buy a ticket for the privilege. Finally, what's the tactics for the ultimate survivor? Run. <laughs>